Unlike more traditional ops role like DevOps and MLOps, when you're trying to learn about AI ops, you'll soon discover that skill sets that are required ties closer to understanding what metrics are important to measure. In other words, DevOps and MLOps closely tie into actual workflow aspect of how to develop, train, and deploy systems. So essentially, you're starting inside out where you automate the workflow that goes into taking scraps and building them into a finished and usable product. However, in AI ops, the approach can be seen more like working from outside in, where you start with identifying what is important and finding ways to measure and monitor them. So the immediate first step when it comes to AI ops is understanding the use cases and business initiatives. By understanding what the desired outcome is, you can easily identify what is important to track and measure, make sure that they're within the tolerable range. This type of measurement is called Key Performance Indicator, or KPI. KPIs are an important component in AI ops, since you'll be monitoring the current operation and also doing predictive analysis to ensure the business initiatives and business objectives aren't compromised by the underlying AI systems. Understanding what tools exist and what tools can help track KPIs is the next step in the AI ops roadmap. Tools like Kafka, Docker, Terraform, and Kubernetes all offer a wide range of log files and system logs that can be used to assess the current infrastructure. Enabling these tools to essentially stream and aggregate continuous data to flow in real time can help you detect anomalies the moment they occur, which directly helps in making the entire ecosystem more reactive. Now that you have the baseline of what a healthy system looks like in previous two steps, where we first identify KPIs based on business initiatives, and second, found tools to measure them, we can now build a system around this. And in our case, we're not building a system for the sake of building a system, but understanding the true objective of an AI ops, which is an automation. But getting to automation requires understanding the baseline of what a healthy system looks like in the first place and knowing how to measure KPIs to troubleshoot as you manage the AI systems in operation. But in order to reach automation, you will need not only to be reactive about your AI systems, but also be proactive and predictive so that you don't only react when KPIs fall below a desired range, but you're also seeing ahead of what trend might occur in the future. So you'll need to implement analytics to get a deeper understanding of how your system tends to behave. The analytic here is a critical piece in anticipating anomalies and forecasting performance trends. So instead of being reactive, you are transforming your environment to be more adaptive. As you can see, we're moving our system from this natural progression from reactive to proactive to predictive to prescriptive and finally automation. And while automation serves as a true North Star of what all AI ops should aspire to, the roadmap of understanding the business initiatives, deciding on key APIs, finding tools to gather data, building analytics tool, and implementing automation all helps move toward the direction of your IT system incrementally going from reactive system to a more automated system that can be adaptive to ever-changing nature of IT systems.